Welcome, all signs, to Cosmic Readings and Messages for May 2019. Just a quick re reiteration before I start your sign. Uh, I do not do astrology. Just keep that in mind. The signs are only being used for categorization, so you know which video to watch. I've asked the spirits and angels and the universe to direct the messages for those people that are watching uh, that fall under those signs. So just keep that in mind. Also, remember, this is considered to be for entertainment purposes only, so uh, if you do have any major issues that you are looking for resolution for, I wholeheartedly recommend you seek professional help. Other than that, we'll see what the uh, spirits, angels, and the universe has to say for you and your sign. I will be using the tarot cards and the messages from your angels for your message for this month, which will be coming up in just a moment. So thanks for joining the channel. Feel free to click the subscribe button or leave a comment or um, whatever you need to do to keep informed on what this channel is. This is about the third month I believe I'm doing this. So we're just seeing how it goes. And I thank you for watching our Cosmic Messages channel here, which is for you. I just want to see what the spirits, angels, and the universe has for you under your sign. And now we'll switch over to your sign. Hello, my Cancer friends. Cancer for the month of May 2019. And I've already shuffled the decks and pulled your cards to save some time, so they're all set and ready to go for you. So one major card for the main energy for the month of May. So something to keep about, keep in mind. And also three minor cards there for the little story. We'll see if they all fit together, and I think they do for this month. Uh, we have some... Uh, some things going on with you, Gem uh, with you, uh, not Gemini, y y this is for Cancer, Cancer, sorry, <laughs> uh, for the month of May 2019. Um, so let's get into it because you're starting the month, well, you've got for the whole month, the main card to keep in mind is you've got the death card. Um, and of course, everyone, you know, you should know that the death card does not mean literal death. Uh, this is necessary change. That's what this card is about. And notice, you know, there's darkness above, but there's light off in the distance. So the death card is talking about an ending, but it's a needed ending, not actual death. Um, transformation that you need. And, it, you know, it could be a job ending. And you, if you're in a good job, it ends, but there's light at the end of the tunnel. And it's the universe kind of saying, even if you're comfortable, this is a change that you need. Um, so don't think of a job ending or something abruptly ending in your life or a situation ending um, as being bad. Because change is good in this case because there is light off in the distance. Uh, you could be fired. And of course that's terrible. But the universe wants you to know. It's for a reason. The death card is sweeping out the old so you can bring in the new. As for money, it could be an abrupt uh, slowdown or stop and flow of money because maybe if you lost a job, you no longer have income. So you got to watch your money during this situation. But look at the three cards that you have here for the, for the month also to keep in mind. You start, well, I'm not going to say start off, but for these three cards are playing off each other. You've got the Page of Swords, and page pages are kind of like knights. They're, they're like messengers. Um, in this case, you have the Page of Swords, and, and that's talking about you're trying too hard. Um, you need to use your energy more wisely, uh, and there could be a conflict at work. So you need to be cautious, and maybe that's what's leading to that death card. Maybe there's some conflict at work and it's just going to end, and you're going to be out, um, whatever. But remember, the death card is talking about it's a necessary change. You know, something good's going to come in the future. Um, also, that page is talking about your finances could be strained. So again, it's playing off that death card. Then you've got the Seven of Cups, and that's like, I call that the confusion card, because... You need to narrow your focus. There's there's too many things going on. You're overwhelmed. Um, you know, if if you lost the job, your finances are strained. You're just totally confused. You got all those cups. They they all have different things in them. 
you're looking for work. You know, that's what I'm getting here for my for my cancer friends. There's a job loss here or some significant loss, something important. And it could be a, uh, it could also be a uh, relationship. It could also be um, a situation, family issue or something. But it's going to end. And, you know, this, this page is talking about confusion. You're, you're overwhelmed by your choices. Um, and because of that, your, your money is also tight. So, you know, the page is just, you know, it's a perfect playing off that death card. But then you've also got the Queen of Pentacles. And the Queen is talking about you're working on your home, getting things completed, um, making things more homey. So maybe after you lose your job or the situation comes uh, to its end because of that death card, you've got a little extra time at home and you should try to make your home more homey. Also, she's talking about, you know, at work, you should make your work situation more like home. So take some things from home to work to make it more homey. So a new job could be coming in. And a woman's going to help you find that new work in this case because she's the queen. Um, and your finances should be increasing. So after all this, after this confusion and death and, you know, everything is strained and sort of in turmoil, the queen says things are going to be getting better. Your home life's going to get better. Things are going to get more homey. And she's telling you to take some things from home to your new work, we'll say, to make it more like home, make it more comfortable. And then for your angel card, and this, she's, this angel card has popped up for a previous sign, you got Shanti. And Shanti says, I am the angel of peace. I bring you new tranquility and a smoother road ahead. So... You know, you got all this turmoil here. You got the ending and all this stuff. You got the queen saying things are going to be getting better. Make things more homey. You're going to be more comfortable. Finances are increasing. She's got her little bunny rabbit there. She's all happy. And Shanti saying the same thing. Smoother road ahead. So if this resonated with you, if you think things are coming up, because I'm recording this right at the end of April, but as we go through May, if this death happens, the abrupt ending, sweeping out the old, slowly bringing in the new through confusion and, and a little bit of turmoil there, you got the queen and you got Shanti there saying, things are going to get better, smoother road ahead. So any of my cancer friends, if this is resonating with you, you got to keep that in mind. Don't dwell on what has happened. Don't dwell on the ending. Look forward. Keep pushing forward. Things are going to get better. Get through that confusion. And that's what I'm thinking is going on here. I'm getting a message from the universe that they're letting you know that this is going to happen. That this is going to happen. And you should not let this confusion get the best of you. Keep moving forward. Don't dwell on the past. It's gone. Death. It's, it's over. <laughs> you know, just think of it that way. It's done. It's over gone. Um, kind of like the tower, something come crashing down. But in this case, this is an ending. Death happens for a reason. And there's new things off in the distance. So keep going forward because here's what awaits you. The Queen and Shanti, smoother road ahead, increase in finances, feeling more comfortable, more homey. Um, you're, you're working on your house, maybe because you have the free time, but you know, a woman's going to help you find a job. Things are going to improve. Smooth the road ahead. So just keep moving forward. And this may go into June or July. This is going into summer, but don't dwell on this. Don't let that confusion get the best of you. So there you go, my cancer friends. I hope that resonated with you. Um, I thank you for watching. And come back next month.